We are a generation who loves God. We are a generation who trusts in God. We will always hope in God. I welcome you to the special broadcast in the wonderful name of Jesus, the name above all names. God is so good. God is so gracious. He is wonderful. He is merciful. He is a good God. And we can put our trust and our hope in Him. Without Him, where would we be? What would we do? For some of us, all we know is God. We have abandoned everything else in the flesh to seek after God. And He is our joy and He is our fulfillment. Where would we be without God? He is so amazing. He is so wonderful. And His grace is sufficient for us. Today I want to pray special prayers for your finance. And I also want to pray for breakthrough in your life. And I trust and believe God will give you a mighty breakthrough. But let us begin by welcoming the Holy Spirit. Right now, I invite you in your own words, welcome the Holy Spirit in that place where you're watching. And let us do it together. Precious Holy Spirit of God. We welcome you. Come, Lord Holy Spirit, and bless us. Help us to pray. Help us to press in. Help us to receive from the Father. Help us to press in and receive our breakthrough. I ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Today I'm going to speak about a scripture that I've shared many times before. But I love this scripture. Because it shows where our divine supply comes from. As born again believers. The Bible says in the book of Philippians chapter 4 verse 19, it says, And my God will meet all your needs according to the riches of his glory in Christ. And my God will meet all your needs according to the riches of his glory in Christ. There are great riches in Christ. They are great blessings, not just physical blessings, but spiritual blessings too. And oftentimes we, in a way, make a mockery of the blessings that are there because we only seek after the material blessings when there are such great spiritual blessings also. So we should open up our thinking and our perspective that when the word of God refers to blessings, it does not only mean physical blessings, but it also means spiritual blessings. It says, and my God will meet all your needs according to the riches of his glory in Christ Jesus. Notice it says needs. And in this season, I know many people have various needs. Maybe needs in a business, needs in a specific calling, needs in the area of a certain career field. Might be needs in your family, needs in your own life, certain things that you need. It says, and my God will meet all your needs according to the riches of his glory in Christ Jesus. God will meet all your needs, my dear friend. I want to prophesy and proclaim. If you put your trust in God, you will not be disappointed. I want to prophesy and proclaim. If you truly trust God, you will see Him meet your needs. I want to prophesy and proclaim. It doesn't matter what season we might be going through. Those who put their trust in the Lord shall be divinely supplied for. God shall meet all their needs. You may wonder, how did I make it this far? There were so many times you were in need. So many times when you thought it was the end. 
but somehow just in time, everything that you needed was given to you. And it may have been given to you through various ways. It may have been given to you through a door that God opens for a specific job or a business opportunity. But ultimately, God met your needs. You see, the way God works is very mysterious. Sometimes, He will open the heavens and do a miracle that is so amazing that you can immediately distinguish and say, this is a miracle. God has supplied for me divinely. But sometimes He will also do a miracle but it's not so clear or evident that it is a miracle because our spiritual eyes are not open. And the way we know that it's a miracle is if our spiritual eyes were open, we would see that it wouldn't be possible for us to receive that opportunity, but we received it because God opened the way as a direct result of our prayer. I want to pray for your finance. And I want to pray for breakthrough in this season, even today as we pray. But let us go on. In saying that, let us begin by praising and thanking God. And as we discern His presence, as we go deeper, then we'll begin to pray and begin to really tap into the presence of God. In saying that, let us begin. Father, we thank you and we give you praise. We lift up your name. You alone, O Lord, are holy. You alone, O Lord, are our God our God who speaks and you live. You make a way for us in the wilderness. You open up the way for us. You deliver us. You see us through. In times that are tough and times that are difficult, you make a way. You bring breakthrough and you supply all our needs. And for that, we are truly, truly grateful. For we understand and know where would we be without you. We see your hand at work in our lives. We see your hand, the hand of God at work. And we are grateful. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your mercy and your love towards us. Thank you for Jesus. Thank you for considering us as worthy of salvation. Through your great love and your mercy. We are grateful and we honor you even today. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen and amen. My dear friend, now as we begin, I want to encourage you as a way to connect in faith. Comment and agree. Use that as a point of contact. The Bible says where two or more agree on a thing as touching, it shall be established. So as I pray for you, agree and receive. In saying that, let us begin. Father, I pray for my dear friend. In the season, if my dear friend is in dire need of financial breakthrough or financial miracle in their life, do a miracle. Open a door of an opportunity that will bring in the finances needed. Do a miracle. Do a divine work in my dear friend's life. If that business that my dear friend has is going down, turn it around. Let it begin to go up. I ask that you intervene divinely in my dear friend's life and bring breakthrough, all-round breakthrough, not just physical breakthrough, but also spiritual breakthrough to greater glories and greater dimensions in you so that my dear friend may taste and see of your goodness even in the land of the living. That my dear friend may taste and see of the blessing that makes rich and adds no sorrow. Give my dear friend good opportunities that make rich and add no sorrow. Give my dear friend good blessing, good things, good finance that makes rich and adds no sorrow. And we don't serve money, we serve you. Money serves us. We give you praise and we thank you, Father, that you fight for us, even in this season. You are fighting for my dear friend and you are making a way. In Jesus' name, 
Amen and Amen. My dear friend, God is good. God is always with us. Believe in Him. Trust Him. And you will see His divine deliverance working power. He is God with us. Emmanuel. So close to us. A wonderful God. And He's able to do miracles, signs and wonders. Jesus Christ is Lord. And He has made a way for us. Believe in Him. And you will never be disappointed. Now may the grace of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you, now and forevermore. We've come to the end of this broadcast from myself, Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez. God bless you, and I'll see you again soon. Until then, God bless you, and goodbye. Thank you for watching. If you were blessed by this video and you would like to support us to keep making content like this, you can do so via PayPal or Patreon. The links are provided in the description. God bless you, and goodbye.